The Prince and Princess of Wales have discussed the numerous rainbow sightings that occurred after the death of Queen Elizabeth II during a meeting with volunteers and operations staff who worked to stage the committal service at Street. George's Chapel in Windsor The royal couple visited the Windsor Guildhall on Thursday as part of a number of trips undertaken by members of the royal family to meet with groups who contributed to the day of the Queen's state funeral on Monday. This special visit, as well as those undertaken by Princess Anne and Prince Edward with his wife Sophie, Countess of Wessex, took place with the permission of King Charles III as the royal family remain in mourning until seven days after the state funeral. Speaking about the Queen's death on September 8 at Balmoral Castle, William told a group of volunteers, for the Daily Telegraph, he was shocked to see how many rainbows had appeared afterwards. In Scotland, how many rainbows turned up? He reportedly asked Kate. You hardly ever see rainbows up there, but there were five. To this, the princess responded that Her Majesty was looking down on us. A number of rainbows were also spotted at other royal residences after news of the Queen's death was broken, including Buckingham Palace and Windsor Castle. Professor and historian Deborah Hartness commented on the significance of the rainbow as it appeared outside Buckingham Palace, taking to social media to write, As a historian of the first Elizabethan age, I am overwhelmed to be in London at this historical moment. 16th century Elizabethans would have looked for signs. This double rainbow appeared over Buckingham Palace just moments before the Queen's death was announced. In the early 17th century, Elizabeth I was famously painted holding a rainbow in her hand as a symbol of peace. The rainbow portrait as it became known has become a symbol of Elizabeth's golden age of peace of prosperity for England. In the Christian faith, the rainbow is a symbol of peace and a promise of better times to come. In the Old Testament God sent a rainbow after the Great Flood to signify to Noah the end of the period of disaster. Broadcaster Helena Wilkinson, who was reporting from Windsor Castle when news of the Queen's death was announced, also took to social media to post about a rainbow sighting. At Windsor Castle, the Queen's much-loved home, a rainbow has just appeared and the flag has been lowered, she wrote on Twitter. Numerous rainbow sightings occurred throughout the days between the Queen's death and the state funeral on Monday, September 19. On the evening before the funeral service at Westminster Abbey, a large rainbow was spotted above Westminster, which was widely reported on by the news teams that had assembled to cover the service the following day. Joe Porter posted a photograph of the scene on social media with the caption, the most incredible rainbow over the Palace of Westminster on the eve of Her Late Majesty Queen Elizabeth II's funeral. In the latter decades of her reign, Elizabeth II earned the nickname the Rainbow Queen for her array of brightly block-colored outfits which she wore to official occasions to help her be easily spotted in a crowd. Rainbows were not the only subject of conversation of the Prince and Princess of Wales during their efforts to thank the members of staff who had helped marshal crowds and organize car parks and security during the Windsor elements of the funeral day. Speaking to surveillance organizers, Kate said that her the children, Prince George 9, Princess Charlotte, 7, and Prince Louis, 4, had been aware of the extra activities taking place around their Windsor home. It is the children who are the beady-eyed ones, she explained. They were saying I've just seen a drone, and why's there so many car parks popping up, they notice so much. <laughs>